Holy crap, man. Today we are going to be doing yet another fishing challenge. So today I drove over here to McDonald's and we are going to be buying three items off of the menu. And we're going to see if we can get some fish on any of these items. Alright, so I'm going to buy three things off the menu. We're going to rig them up and let's see if we can catch some fish on McDonald's. Hi, 20 nuggets, small fry, one double cheeseburger. And that's it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, you too. Tight lines, bros. Please subscribe. So we got the double cheeseburger in there. We got the fries. And we got the nuggets. If you're wondering why we got 20 nuggets, I don't know. So we are now on our way to the pond. But before we get there, I have a quick unboxing for you guys, right quick. All right, so before we actually get started with this challenge, I just have a little unboxing for you guys. Basically, a company named Pissafun Fishing reached out to me and said that they have high quality reels for low cost. So they sent me this spinning reel here. So I figured let's unbox it and let's test it out in this video. I just took the packaging stuff off so you don't see my address and everything. All right, I'm going to make this super quick. As you can see on the box, go with family. I think that's awesome. Always awesome to promote family time. Yo, this thing is sick looking actually. All right, so let me break down what's in this box right here. Sticker, reel, reel handle, instructions, pouch, bubble wrap. I'm excited to get out on the water and use this thing. So this reel is called the Honor Reel. It is a 3000 model and you can see the specs right here. So I definitely will let you guys know my honest opinion about this reel. Now let's stop wasting time and get out on the water. All right, we are now walking over to the pond, but just so you guys know, I did not get paid to put this reel in my video or to use it. The company just sent it to me and asked me to try it out. They're just a small family company that's trying to get their foot in the market share, so I respect that. And as someone who was a business student in college, I appreciate and respect what they're trying to do. And I mean, if I like the reel, I'm gonna tell you guys. All right, so here we are at the pond. My goal is to catch a fish on everything that we bought at McDonald's today. So that is three items, the nuggets, the fries, and the burger. All right, so the game plan for today is that we are going to start small. I have a small hook, a small piece of this chicken nugget, and a small split shot on here. So hopefully these fish in here like McDonald's McDonald's nuggets. I have no clue. I've never fished with <laughs> McDonald's nuggets. Alright, so first cast I lost my nugget. I see a bunch of sunnies down here, so I'm gonna try to just kind of lob it out there. Alright, well our first dilemma is that this hook might be a little too big because they're just kind of stealing the food off of it. Alright, I'm gonna put a smaller piece of chicken nugget on there and see if we can get one. Oh, there's one. Yes! Alright, first fish of the day. We got a little, what is this? That's a little bluegill on the chicken nugget. Oh, oh, there he goes. He went down the... All right, there we go. First fish of the day and first fish of the McDonald's fishing challenge. We got a little bluegill. Right when that nugget hit the water, he crushed it. So I'm going to let him go. And let's see if we can get any other fish. So we are going to switch over. What should I use next? Um, all right, so next up is this little piece of french fry. Let's see what we can do here. Do they not like fries as much? Oh, oh, there's one. Oh, that's a bigger one. Let's go. Dude, that is a nice little blue... Oh, that is a decent sized blue go right there. All right, I'm literally so happy right now. This is our second fish of the day. I've only been here for like five minutes. They didn't seem too impressed with the french fry the first time I threw it in, but the second time, this guy came up and nailed it. Thank you for biting, my good sir. All right, we've literally been here for five minutes, and we already have two of the baits down. And just remember, guys, once we get all of the baits out of the way, we're going to try to target some bigger fish. You see, the thing with the burger is that there are so many different parts of the burger that I do not exactly know what to fish on. I mean, you've got the bun, you've got the meat, you've got the pickles i guess see i'm gonna try some of the meat first all right there you go a little piece of mcdonald's burger and a little bit of cheese all right so burger and cheese going in see if they like it oh there we go dude literally they are just nailing this mcdonald's this is the third nice bluegill i've caught i never would have expected these fish to like mcdonald's this much so there you guys go another beautiful little bluegill maybe this is the secret bait all right so that was the meat of the burger let's try the bun right quick you could definitely tell these fish are from america all right there we go on the bread all right on the bread let's go do you guys see the colors on this guy this is just awesome this is just so much fun so i'd say that the only part of this burger that we haven't really used yet Oh, these pickles. I don't really have too much faith in the pickle. You should never know when it comes to fishing. All right, so this is what we're working with here. So let's just toss this guy out there. Looks like he got a nibble already. Had a minor excitement when I dropped in there. Let's see if I can get anybody to actually commit to it. There we go. There we go. Literally on the McDonald's pickle. What is going on right now? These fish are crushing McDonald's. Like, all right, guys, literally on the pickle from the McDonald's burger. Another solid little bluegill. This is so much fun to do. I literally recommend all of you guys to get out there and try this. It is just so much fun to catch these little fish. All right, so to be honest with you guys, I do not have too much faith in this specific pond. 
Uh, there are a bunch of sunfish. This pond is simply just overfish. I know I said it before, but I switched to a Sanko. I could not get any bites literally at all. So I think that switching ponds is gonna be the move here. All right, so that last pond did not have the juice. So for the McDonald's challenge, we had to catch some fish on everything that we bought at McDonald's. And hey, I mean, we completed it. So these last couple fishing challenges have been very frustrating. So I'm just gonna take the W today. And we are at a new pond right now, and I'm gonna try to actually catch some big fish. And I'm just gonna try to focus on having fun today because as I did say, the last couple challenges have been frustrating. So let's go have some fun and hopefully we get a big fish. All right, so my new goal for today is to catch a fish that is at least three pounds. Let's see if we can do it. Guys, I see the snakeheads again. It would literally be a freaking dream come true if I caught one of these things. Yo, I literally got one. Yo, I freaking got a snakehead. No way, dude, I'm literally hooked on a freaking snakehead right now. I've never caught a snakehead before. This is freaking awesome. Holy crap, get up here. Oh, please get up here. Oh my gosh. Dude, this thing is fighting like crazy. Holy crap, man. Oh my goodness. Dude, this is the biggest fish I've ever caught in the freaking world. Oh my gosh. I need to go down and grab it. Do you guys see how big this freaking snakehead is? I am shaking right now. Holy crap, man. Please tell me this is on camera. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. All right, this thing is freaking out right now. Holy crap. Guys, I'm freaking shaking right now. Oh, I gotta breathe. Just do you guys see how big this fish is? I'm gonna try my best to get him up on land but he might flop away, so I'm gonna try to get this guy really quick. All right, I got him, I got him, I got him. Oh God, okay. All right, so these guys are actually pretty good survivors outside of water. All right, I'm gonna get my scale right quick so I can weigh him. Sorry if I'm not handling him the perfect way, guys. I'm just freaking, I cannot believe I caught this thing. This is freaking crazy. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. All right, it says, 4.3 pounds. All right, 4.3 pounds snakehead. I cannot believe I just caught this thing. Let me get my other camera so you guys can get a better look. All right, so just so you guys can get a better view of this guy, look at this freaking monster. I cannot believe I just pulled this guy out of the water. Holy crap, this is ridiculous. I cannot believe I just caught this thing. Holy crap, I cannot believe I just caught this. And just so you guys can see, this is my hand. This thing is freaking massive, dude. Oh man, I am literally still shaking. I cannot believe I just caught that. I wish I got some better pictures of them, but man, this is like, now a lot of you guys might not know this, but snakeheads in Delaware are extremely rare. And when I say extremely rare, like this is the first pond I've ever seen them in. I know they're in Beck's Pond, but I have not ever seen them there. I am not gonna tell you or show you guys what I did with the snakehead, but I am going to link you down to Extreme Philly Fishing's blog, where he talks about snakehead and what he thinks you should do with them. So I'm just gonna leave it up to you guys and your imagination of what I did with it so I do not get any hate comments or anything like that. I'm so happy right now, so I'm going to go try and catch some more fish. I don't know if any will top that, but man. And by the way, guys, I caught that on 12 pound mono. It was just a mono that I had laying around my house. I did not expect to get on some snakeheads today. And let me tell you, man, this honor reel handed it like a champ. So I'm already liking it. So let's go get some more fish here. Let me show you guys what I was using real quick. Just these five inch Gary Yamamoto Senkos. I believe this is the watermelon color and I was just pitching it a Texas rigged. I didn't even feel the bite at first because there was too much slack and I, didn't, I just didn't think it was going to hit it anyway because I've done that before, but I cannot believe like what just, wow. Well, that is definitely another species to add to my list. This is a fish that I've been wanting to catch for years. I know that in other states, snakeheads are not extremely rare. For example, I see tall fisherman Jay who lives in Florida. He's another YouTuber. He crushes snakehead like every day and it's just like they're everywhere down in Florida. However, there's very few locations in Delaware where you can get a good spot to get on some good snakeheads and I cannot believe that I just got on one, man. Like it, this is this is just awesome. Holy crap, guys. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but there's literally a snake that just ate a bluegill. It literally just, oh my 
God, I'm going to get away from that thing right now. Let's go. There's a fish. Oh, that's a nice one too. Ooh, this is a nice fish right here. Please don't come off. Oh man, this is putting up a good fight. Oh man. There we go, nice little chunk right here. Let's bring him up right quick. All right, come here, buddy. Let's go. Dude, this is just an awesome freaking day so far. All right, guys, this might be my best day of fishing so far in 2017. This is a nice, I'd say two and a half pounder probably. The honor reel is doing its thing. And man, this is just, what an awesome day. Like, look at this fish. We are having a great day today. Let me give him a little toss over there. He had some teeth on him. All right, so let me take a minute to talk to you guys about these next couple weeks here. So I am going to be going down to the beach for the 4th of July week slash weekend. I hope to do a lot of saltwater fishing, whether it's at the beach, at Bethany Beach, or at Rehoboth Beach, or at the Rehoboth Beach Inlet. I hope to do a lot of saltwater fishing. I am not the best at saltwater fishing, but I hope to get on some fish there. And I'm definitely gonna be bringing my bass stuff down. So if you guys know of any good ponds to fish, uh, down at Bethany Beach or Rehoboth Beach, definitely let me know. So you guys can definitely expect some awesome videos to come out in the near future. So definitely, if you're not already, click that subscribe button. I appreciate every single one of you who have clicked that subscribe button. It is just amazing and I'm having so much fun doing these videos. So thank you guys so much for all the support. I'm literally just so happy. And with that cast, I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to get into some air conditioning. I'm going to drink some nice ice cold water. And I just want to sit down and talk with you guys a little bit. So I will see you when I'm back at my house. All right, so it is the next day. I stayed up all night editing. Definitely be sure to check out the Amazon link for the reel. It is in the description. It held up super well and I, I really like it. So check that out. And thank you guys for watching. See you next video.